Leaflet is a modern open source JavaScript library for mobile friendly interactive maps. Leaflet is designed with simplicity, performance, and usability in mind. It works efficiently across all major desktop and mobile platforms out of the box, taking advantage of HTML5 and CSS3 on modern browsers, while still being accessible on older ones. It can be extended with a huge amount of plugins. In this tutorial we will create interactive world map. In order to follow this tutorial, basic knowledge in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is required. First thing we need to do is to download Genie Text Editor. You can use any other text editor like Notepad++, or integrated development environment like NetBeans. Let's set up directories. Our project will be in my map folder. We will need two more folders, one for libraries and other for data. Our map will be in index.html file, and will be located in my map folder. Next thing we need to do is to download map data. Free data is available on the naturalearthdata.com website. Downloaded data is in the shapefile format. We need to convert it to GeoJSON. GeoJSON is a format for encoding a variety of geographic data structures. In order to do this, download and install QGIS. QGIS is open source GIS software that we will use to prepare and view our data. Extract zip file. Add new vector layer. Select downloaded shape file. Now save loaded layer as GeoJSON. Select GeoJSON as format. Save file in data folder that we created. Select EPSG4326 as coordinate reference system. The EPSG is a structured data set of coordinate reference systems. Leaflet expects GeoJSON with EPSG4326. Now we have our data ready for Leaflet. Let's download Leaflet library. We can use hosted version of library or we can download local copy. Download library so that we can see our map even if we are offline. 
create leaflet folder inside lib folder and copy downloaded files. We don't need source file, so we will skip it, but you can copy it if you want to do some debugging. Open index.html file. Let's create basic HTML structure. Now we will define file encoding, viewport scale and title. We need to include our leaflet library. It's located in lib folder. Include CSS style and JavaScript file. Now we have everything ready to create our first web map.